Former North Carolina Senator John Edwards will not address the Democratic National Convention later this month. Instead, he's dealing with the fallout from his bombshell revelation that he had an extramarital affair. John Edwards, the favorite son of Chapel Hill, North Carolina, is favored no more, at least by some of his former supporters. I was disappointed, very disappointed. You know, you want to trust him and believe him, and uh, it just makes it kind of hard to believe anything that he says. I mean, I'm, I'm disgusted, I'm disappointed, I'm just doggone angry. Their anger stems not just from Edwards' admitted affair, but from months of repeated denials. I, I, I have no idea what you're asking about. Uh, Edwards finally owned up to the affair last week in a televised interview. Uh, I made a very serious mistake, a mistake that I am responsible for and no one else. Uh, I, in 2006, told Elizabeth about the mistake ask her for her forgiveness, ask God for, for his forgiveness. But there are lingering questions. Did the affair really end in 2006? How did the other woman, real Hunter, end up in a $3 million California home? And if her child, born in February, was not fathered by Edwards, what's behind the tabloid photograph of Edwards allegedly holding Hunter's child? I don't know anything about that photograph. Don't know who, I don't know who that baby is. I don't know if the picture has been altered manufactured. It's a picture that was taken of me some other time holding another baby. I have no idea. Despite it all, Elizabeth Edwards continues to stand by her husband, saying, quote, I am proud of the courage John showed by his honesty in the face of shame. The National Enquirer broke the story of Edwards' affair last year. Joining us now from Boca Raton, Florida, is Editor-in-Chief David Perrell. Good morning, David. Good morning. Back then, no one believed you. I bet you're feeling pretty vindicated right now. Well, we certainly do. It's been a long, hard road to uh, break this story and get it out into the mainstream. He's still denying a claim that you make that he is the father of Hunter's daughter. Do you have evidence to prove otherwise? We certainly have uh, evidence that uh, points in that direction. We know Rial is saying she, that he is the father. We also know that the affair continued long after he said he broke it off. So uh, we hope they would take a paternity test. We've asked him for months to take a paternity test, but he has always refused our request. Now, surprisingly, he says he'll take one, and she says she won't. But let's not forget, she's still being paid. Did anyone from the Edwards campaign ever contact you to squash the story? Oh, absolutely. When we went to press with our story in December, uh, naming Rial and uh, with great details about the affair, we had long discussions with his attorneys. At one point, Edwards offered to supply an affidavit saying that he uh, never had an affair. Uh, we said, OK, and the affidavit never materialized. I made an offer to his people that said, uh, if you take a lie detector test that says you didn't have the affair, you pass it, I'll kill the story. They didn't take us up on that. Lastly, your impressions of this woman, uh, Riel Hunter, who's being trashed in New York papers today on the cover of this one. It says Riel Cruel, saying that she trashed Elizabeth Edwards, said she was a woman who had bad karma. What can you tell us about her? She's an interesting character. She went from being kind of the quintessential party girl in New York to changing her lifestyle and becoming involved in New Age spiritualism. But I think the one thing that's very significant is that she was and remains in love with John Edwards, and she's still in contact with John Edwards. She thought during this affair that they would end up together and that they would end up married, mm -hmm. and she still thinks they're going to end up together. David Carroll, we shall see. Thank you so much.